Don't judge a book by its cover is a phrase that essentially means to never judge someone or something by its appearance. In terms of books, or in this case manga, it's not the covers that should interest us, but the stories inside. Now whether you're new to the hobby, a seasoned vet, or somewhere in between, we all have more than just the cover to decide if reading a new series is worth it. For example, we have things like forums or videos to help make our decision easier. At the end of the day, reading a new series is the best way to find out if it's for you. But does this rule apply if you have read the series already? Technically, no. It should not apply. If anything, seeing as you've read the contents of the manga, you are now qualified to judge it by its cover. Let me use Naruto as an example. Now, I've read Naruto from beginning to end, and I'll admit, it's been quite some time since I've done so. Be that as it may, I could at least say one thing that happens in some of the volumes based on the cover. For example, Volume 10, Lee goes all out against Gara. Volume 19, Tsunade and Jiraiya fight Orochimaru and Kabuto. Volume 42, Pain kills Jiraiya. Volume 43 is the tail end of Sasuke and Itachi's fight. Volume 47, Naruto meets the fourth Okage. Volume 49 is the five Kage Summit. Now in the beginning of the video, you saw volume 50 of Naruto. Based on the cover, many Naruto fans, myself included, would say it contains the fight between Killer B and Kasame. If we take a look at the back of the volume, it even says Killer B vs Kasame. So here's why, even if you've read the series, you should never judge a book by its cover. Your eyes do not deceive you. The contents of this volume 50 of Naruto is actually the contents for volume 5. So after seeing something like that, would you still judge a book by its cover even after knowing its contents? Were you just as surprised as me? As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.